Let's have a look at where we're launching these nested actors by going into the launch new chat window VI that we created in the last video. And we have the launch nested actor. Now there's a Boolean input to this VI called auto stop and by default that is true. Now when this input is true, let's have a look at what happens. So we'll open up the launching VI and when auto stop is true, we record nested actor and queuers and we build those into an array. And that array is stored in the actor object. So now let's have a look at what happens when we stop. So when we stop the actor, we're sending a normal or emergency stop message to all of the nested actors that we stored in that array. Just to summarize the auto stop behavior in actor framework, let's say the very root actor stops. That's going to send a stop message to all of its nested actors, so they stop. They will then send a stop message to all of their nested actors, so they stop, and the cycle continues. This also means that you could shut down various branches in your actor framework system without affecting the rest of your application. Let's say an error is triggered in one of our methods. That error comes out and in the actor core triggers the error case in actor core so this loop now stops. That error is transferred to the stop VI. Inside the stop VI we have the stop core which will send out stop messages to all of our nested actors. That error also gets transferred out of stop core through actor.vi and now into the send last act VI. We, and this message gets sent to the caller. The caller receives this error code now, as, and this is one of the methods. So the caller now stops and the cycle continues. Let's summarize the error handling strategy in actor framework in order to stop these actors. So if an error happens in any actor, that actor and its nested actors will stop because of the auto stop strategy I showed you earlier. The error is then passed up to its calling actor using the last act message. Because the calling actor now has that error, all of its nested actors will stop, as will that one, and it will send it up to their calling actor. And that way, if an error occurs in any actor, your entire application will shut down due to this chain reaction. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a like, subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any feedback. Cheers everyone.